you had to pay your dues. And I know you wanted this moment. You probably wanted it earlier than now. How has waiting for that moment paid off for you? Well, I've been surrounded by good people. And um, I'm, I'm grateful for parents that, that raised me not to complain about things that don't happen, but just work. Um, and when it didn't happen last year, it was tough. But again, I, I love John, and I've learned so much from him that it was tough this go around when I was hired to, to say, gosh, dang it, <laughs> I wish I had more time with the guy. But um, yeah, it's just, Kyle's been in this profession a long time. I think he knows kind of what it takes to, to, to become a coordinator, to become uh, you know, seasoned in, in, the, in the profession and knows what it takes to, to be a, a play caller and, and to command a, a defense. And, you know, I, I'm just grateful that he feels that I'm ready. What's the biggest challenge for you in taking on this role, this added responsibility? Ooh, biggest challenge? Uh, <laughs> to duplicate what we did last year. <laughs> You know, great job, John. You got to leave it on a high note and pull, pull on the. You can't do better than number one in the conference, right? Pulling the Costanza, I'm out. Um, no, I, right now it's replacing those linebackers. Johnny Paul, Jared Norris, we're going through cutups right now, and, and they were so instinctive and productive. And, you know, it, it's when you lose experience plus productivity plus leadership, that's the trifecta. <laughs> it's tough. So, We've, we've got our work cut out for us there, but it's, again, that's our job. Recruit, develop, and manage. And right now, it's, it's going to be the recruiting and, and developing aspect where, where we, we prove that we make our money. How much is the fact that you are alumni, that you played for this program, your father played for this program, right. how much has that influenced the passion and the drive that you bring to work every day working for this university? I think a lot, a lot. Yeah, I grew up going to games here. Uh, when the north end zone wasn't the north end zone, right? Uh, where there was the tunnel underneath, the, the uh, Crimson Club box was on the other side. And uh, the, the drum and feather means something to me. And, and uh, we have a past together. Um, so when you go into a parent's home, a kid's home, and, and you say that you love the university, uh, it, it, it does, it means something. My entire family went to the U. It means something, and I, I pray I never leave. <laughs> I'm going to throw out a few names of some coaches that you okay. played for. I want you to briefly describe the most important thing that those coach, that coach taught you. Okay. Ron McBride. Uh, it's all about the player. He was such a player's coach. Um, loved his, his players and would do anything for his players. Urban Meyer. Uh, Urban Meyer, he knew how to get the best out of every player. He was the uh, psychologist that just knew how to get a hold of you, what mattered to you, and how to bring it out. Gary Anderson. Uh, he was very much in line with the, the Ron McBride way where he loved you and he made sure that you knew it and he made sure that you knew he believed in you. So that's probably with, with Gary, that's probably what I learned. Kalani Sataki. Um, stand up for what you believe in, regardless of whatever other people think. Um, and uh, probably one of my best friends in the, in, in the profession and, and I spent a ton of time with him. Uh, so he's a guy that stood up for me uh, when I needed it, and uh, I'm grateful for it. John Pease. John Pease. It doesn't matter how much you know. It matters how much your player knows. Uh, you could be a bright mind in the profession and scheme up uh, you know, some, some very good schemes, but if you can't teach your players to know what you know, it doesn't matter. So keep it simple, stupid, it was, was the, the, the best thing I learned from John. I can see him saying that. <laughs> Kyle Whittingham. The, be, the biggest thing I've learned from Kyle is uh, that in this profession, loyalty is the number one thing that counts. Um, it's just a tough, 
tough profession. And you see coaches move from place to place and pick up their families and go. And it's all about surrounding yourself with the, with the right people. He's, an, he's to, to, to my knowledge and in my opinion, the greatest defensive mind in college football. And uh, he, can, he can come in a room and really make you feel dumb because <laughs> of all the things that, that he's seen. I mean, he's, he's come up, his father was a coach in, in the NFL, and you can tell he's been around coaching since he has, he, since he was a baby. Um, and through it has seen, I'm sure, a lot of good times and a lot of pain, a lot of tough times. And, and it's all about loyalty. And, and um, I'm very loyal to him for, for all that he's done for me.